Amen. Thank God for everyone joining us again for YPWW. Pray that God has been good to you all week long. Brought us back again to this hour where we can gather around the word of God uh, and study the YPWW lesson. Amen. Thank God for tonight's lesson. Lesson number nine, a prayer for knowledge, wisdom, and spiritual understanding. And let's start with the word of prayer. God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for how good you've been to us all week long, God. Thank you for your word, God. And we ask that you reveal to us tonight in your word what you want us to know and give us a mind to apply this lesson to our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And thank God. Amen. Today, again, lesson number nine, a prayer for knowledge, wisdom, and spiritual understanding. The aim of this lesson is to recognize for one to be an effective leader, one must spend time in prayer. And when we talk about prayer, you know, we first start off, uh, we have a lot of lesson texts. So for this brief summary of the lesson, we won't read all of them, but we will reference a few. But in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 13, you know, it lets us know about the battle that we're in and the weapons that we have to use in order, in order to fight, you know, this battle. And if we do what we, we told in Ephesians 6, it tells us to stand and it tells us how to prepare ourselves for this fight, which leads into us talking about prayer, because we have to remember that we're fighting against the devil. And this scripture in Ephesians lets us know that he's tricky, but he's also a spiritual enemy. So we have to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And this is why prayer for knowledge, wisdom and spiritual understanding is so important, because we have to understand the word. And we have to understand and know the God that we serve. And in Colossians uh, chapter 1, our uh, lesson uh, text says 1 through 23, verse 9, it says, For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. So the same prayer that Paul had for the church of Colossus, you know, that's what God wants for us today. You know, he still desires that we desire that we be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Because a lot of people, you know, they strut their biblical knowledge, you know, make other people feel like they're less worthy or they don't know as much. But that's not being a mature saint. That's arrogance. You know, but he tells us in our lesson to be filled with the knowledge of God's will and our wisdom. And this is God's desire for us. You know, he wants us to be filled, you know, up with him, you know, lacking nothing, you know, and his his prayer, Paul's prayer and God's desire is that we lack nothing when it comes to the knowledge of God's will for our lives. He wants us to be filled up with the knowledge of his will in our wisdom in proverbs 2 and 6 it says for the lord give it wisdom out of his mouth come with knowledge and understanding so god wants us to be filled with the knowledge of his will and how do we get this knowledge you know you have to want to know more you got to depend on the holy ghost and we have to study the word of god and it goes on to speak to us about understanding and these things which are being prayed for by paul you know these were signs of spiritual maturity you know, and wisdom is a gift from God that leads to understanding. You know, wisdom is the application of the truth that we have been revealed. Understanding is the comprehension, you know, it's comprehending, you know, saying I got it, you know, the truth or the knowledge that's being presented. You know, and a lot of times we have the head knowledge, but we lack the understanding to apply that knowledge. In Proverbs 4 and 7, it says wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and with all that getting, get understanding. And this means that we mature spiritually when we grow in our understanding of the word of God. And as we grow in the word of God, we apply what we learn to our lives. So what should we understand? You know, we should understand spiritual things. We should discern spiritual things. Psalm uh, 119, 104 says, through, through your precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way and then when we get this knowledge and get this wisdom and get this spiritual understanding that leads us to verses 10 and 12 in colossians 1 when it says that you might work worthy of the lord unto all pleasing being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of god strengthened with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness giving thanks unto the father which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light so when the Bible talks about walking, 
it's talking about in the way that we live. You know, Ephesians 5 and 8 says, For you were sometimes darkness, but now ye are are ye light in the Lord, walk as children of light. And that's important for us as saints. You know, we don't live as the world, but we, we live as saints who are filled with the knowledge of God's will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. And walking worthy of the Lord should be clear for us. In 1 Thessalonians 2 and 12, it says that you would walk worthy of God who have called you unto his kingdom in glory. So our purpose is we should strive to be fully pleasing to God. You know, if our desire is to be fully pleasing to God, the result will include the next phrase, which talks about being fruitful into every good work. So as we walk with him and produce fruit for him, we increase in the knowledge of God as he speaks to us from his word. And in order for us to increase and grow in our knowledge of God, we have to put ourselves in the right position and with the right knowledge of his will and our wisdom and understanding. It causes us to be grateful as we go to uh, 13 and 14 in Colossians 1, who says, who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. So as we live our lives day by day, you know, the more we know about God, the more we read about him and his promises and the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made for us, it causes us to be grateful and it causes us to acknowledge him and give him the worship and the praise that he desires. So our, our another lesson takes it gives us is Second Timothy three, one through seven. And we are familiar with this text. You know, it talks about the perilous times which shall come. You know, and basically Paul was telling us that the last day will be full of wicked and religious people and saying that they will have a form of godliness. And he says the last days, you know, it'll be a lot of religious things going on and they appear to be godly. But he informs us to turn away. But before we can turn away from them, we got to be able to identify them. And again, this is why prayer for knowledge, wisdom and spiritual understanding is so important. So we thank God for you joining us on tonight. Just a brief summary of the lesson to get you started on your studies uh, of the word of God. And we thank God for everyone joining us. Thank God for all of the subscribers. Share this page. Subscribe to the page. We're praying for you. Continue to pray for us. And we thank God for the word of God. And tonight we're going to leave you with question number two in our book. The words knowledge, wisdom, and understanding are important vocabulary for this lesson. Define and discuss what they mean and how they are relative to each other. Amen. So let's end with a word of prayer. God, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your presence. And we pray for each and each and every individual that watches this video. God, if it's by choice or by accident, we pray for them in their situations even now. We come in agreement with them, God, that you save their loved ones, that you heal their loved ones, that you deliver, that you set free, God. God, anyone that comes across, God, if there any backsliders, we ask that you reclaim them even now. And God, we pray for all of the saints even now, that you strengthen them, oh God, and that we thank God for you and your word on tonight. Give us a mind to apply this lesson to our lives as we go forth and keep you in your rightful position, God. Forgive us for anything we said, done, or thought that wasn't like you, for we want to be pure. We want to be holy. We want to be in the right standing, in the right position to hear from you and be used by you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. Again, all the information will be in the descriptions. And we thank God for our pastor, Pastor Donald Douglas, First Lady Douglas, all of the saints at Bethel Church of God in Christ from Plain Dean, Louisiana. Again, you can join us uh, on YouTube uh, for our services. You can go to BethelKojic.net. Amen. We'll uh, get that updated soon so you can stay up to date with uh, service times. But we love you. We're praying for you. Be encouraged. And we thank God for you. Love you. Till next time.